Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Khalid with you. In this video, I will try to explain something about editor tracking. Why it is being used and if it is being used on any feature class, you will not be able to the delete field and some other relevant information. So usually we have three type of databases, personal, file or enterprise geodatabase. And using SQL database server or Oracle database server or some other database servers. So this editor tracking is basically used to manage four fields. Who has created this uh, feature and when it was created and uh, who has edited on which date. So this is actually a basic concept and if you will go to google and uh, type editor tracking you will find this first link if you are using arcjs desktop you can open this link and if you are using arcjs pro then you can open this link the basically concept is same either you are using arcjs desktop or arcjs pro i have opened this first link because I am using ArcGIS desktop. So this is just to give you an overview. Basically editor tracking allows you to make a log of who edited data and when they did it. Once tracking is enabled, each time an edit is made, information about editors is automatically recorded in the fields you specify. So I will provide this link in the description or just simply you can go to Google and type ESRI editor tracking. So let's open ArcMap. This is just a wallpaper. I have opened this ArcMap already and I have just added a feature class from this Arc catalog window, which you can usually open uh, from this button or going to Windows and by clicking it here. So if you are able to see the connections of your contents in this art catalog, you can just expand and go to your database and add this feature class by dragging and dropping it into this table of contents window. If you don't have, if you are not able to see any folder collections, then you can just simply click on this folder plus button. It will give you options to go to your PC and going to your drive and add the specified location where you have geo databases so i have added this feature class and i have added this a base map world imagery from this button add base map and after that i have just selected this first option so i have just opened the attribute table of this feature class by right clicking and by pressing this button open attribute table so i have opened it already so actually when this edited tracking is being used you are not able to delete the four fields for example these four fields are being used in this editor tracking so if you will try to delete any field you will not be able to delete this field because it is being used by editor tracking feature for this feature class shapefile so in order to delete this field you have to just go to that feature class and right click on that and go to properties and here you will see different tabs so you have to click here on this tab editor tracking and here it is enabled so if you will uncheck this one and click apply and ok now you have basically disabled editor tracking and now you can delete the fields by deleting this one yes and as in this attribute table there are a lot of records around 200,000 records 
so it will take time and the field will be deleted so this does not require any start editing you, you just need to right click on the feature class on the share file either it could be a line point or polygon just right click go to properties and find this tab click on that and just disable and then apply ok and then you can delete these fields so this was the scenario if you have to delete some fields but there could be a scenario if you want to add these fields in your uh, feature class if you don't have it earlier so uh, let me remove this feature class and try to explain how you can add the new features into this uh, feature class for example i have a polygon and let me just change its color the outline color suppose white and the outline width is equal to 1 so here we can see let me zoom in so if you want to give it a transparency you just need to right click on the feature class go to properties and find this tab display and just put the transparency for example 50% click apply and ok so the benefit for doing this is you can see inside this uh, feature class so let's open its attribute table and you can see that uh, there is no editor tracking being used in this feature class you can just right click go to properties and go into this editor tracking if you will enable this editor tracking is it it will be asked that you should have four fields creator field creator date field editor field edit date field so created field and create date will remain same after once it has been filled this means that this feature uh, has been created by this person on this date but later on who is editing this field on which date is being recorded in this edit field so you should have four fields in order to uh, assign these fields to each class so you should have four fields in your this uh, feature class polygon underscore area in order to add this enable uh, editor tracking so let me just open a text file and we just uh, and th this text file the purpose of, of this text file is to just to note the four fields for example creator and create date for example the second field let me just uh, zoom in so this uh, first one creator field i have just uh, took this name creator and the second one create date create date and now let's come to this uh, editor field you can write editor and the second one edit date so let's uh, cancel uh, this one and let me view it this one side by side so you have to just open this attribute table and by clicking on table options you have to just add a new field and uh, copy this first one copy right click paste this creator uh, will be the name of the person and it will be taken by the computer name or the login name to that machine and you have to just keep its type or text and here on the alias you have to paste the same name creator and creator and the text length 
is 50 you can change as per your need click ok so this new field has been added and the second field copy its name go to table properties add field paste no this is the data type should be date here date and also uh, paste this alias name and click ok now you have added this second field now let's copy this third one copy add field paste editor this could be the name of the person you should keep it text click ok now we have added this third field as well now the fourth field copy go to table options add field paste now the data type should be date edit date now you have successfully added these four fields in order to enable use uh, editor tracking so now we have to just uh, refresh this database and right click on the feature class where we have added these uh, four fields and uh, if you are not able to see this field on the start you have to just find editor tracking as here editor tracking and you need to enable and for the first field creator field you have to find this field creator and for this second creator date we have added this field create date and for this editor field we have added this field editor and for edit date we have added this field edit date edit date apply ok let me expand and now we have successfully added this four fields okay uh, for example if i want to add uh, the creator information i cannot edit it right now because this field was not created by me it was created earlier by another person so if you will add a new field into it for example going to this create and if you will try to add this uh, new feature into this feature class let me unselect this one and save edits and stop edits and start editing let me select this feature i have selected this uh, one feature out of this one i will click on that going to uh, this uh, last four fields and it will be uh, it is being filled automatically uh, my system name my username is this one automatically taken by the, the system and today is the date this one and I am also the editor as well as creator so the both same name and it, both of them created on the same time so the create date and edit date is same so hopefully you have understand the topic for this edited tracking and I will just like to request you if you like the video and uh, press the like video button and if you did not subscribe yet please subscribe to the channel and share the video press the bell icon see you in the next video thank you bye bye